Wouldn't it be handy if Cubase could help you tune your guitar? Well, it can. It has a plugin that's actually called Tuner, and you insert that into the track that you wanted to tune. And it doesn't have to be just a guitar, it could be any instrument. Uh, let me demonstrate how to do this. In this project, let's add an audio track. Click on the plus sign and choose audio. And I'll type in guitar because we're going to be tuning a guitar. It's set for mono here. And now, over on the left, we have to make some adjustments to make sure that the input is coming from the correct stereo input. And we also have to turn on the monitoring icon. Now we open the Inserts tab, and we want the tuner to go into the very first one because we want the sound to come directly and immediately to it. As you see here, I'm going to the Tools and choosing the Tuner menu item. And what will open up is the Tuner dialog, and you see the view here is set for Classic. Let's hit a note. As you notice, the indicator is going left and right. Now there are a few display elements I want to point out here. You'll notice on the left, it identifies what note that it hears. Uh, in this example, it hears a G. And in the bars on the right, you'll notice that it has a range going from minus 50 through zero in the middle over to plus 50 on the right. What those numbers represent are cents, C-E-N-T-S. A cent is a measure of uh, the different pitch, and it goes from zero up to 1,200 for a single octave, which what that means is a half step is 100 cents. So here, when you see the G, if it were zero cents, it would be exactly a G. If it were minus 50, for example, on the far left, it would be halfway on its way to an F sharp. So would you, you'd like that number, which is shown on the left side as a digital representation of it, you'd like that to be as close to zero as you can get. If you don't like the classic view, you can also use the strobe view by clicking on the button for strobe. Here you're seeing that if the note is a little bit too flat, it's the little lights are moving to the left. So you shift it, you adjust your tuning, and go until everything is stationary. And when it's completely stationary and you're at zero cents, it would actually turn gray. And finally, there is another view you can use. Over on the left, you'll see the little button appear, which will let you change to a digital view, which is sometimes convenient. It still shows you the sense, but it also tells you the number. So all these are handy ways to tune your guitar. Check out my new course. It's called Cubase Overview. What it is, what it does, and what version to use.